In just one week, law enforcement's newest secret weapon helped solve its very first case in Utah. Two News told you first and exclusively about a rapid DNA that started in Utah a couple of weeks ago. The portable machine analyzes DNA in less than two hours. Jim Spiewak was the very first person to show us this new technology. And Jim, experts fairly shocked by the speed at which this very first case was solved. They say criminals beware because this technology can be used by any agency across the entire state at no cost to that agency or you, the taxpayer. And experts go on to say it's going to help them put more criminals behind bars in jails like this one and others across the state. 27-year-old Albert Hernandez of Hiram is literally the new face of Utah criminals caught with the help of rapid DNA technology because he's the very first. This is one step in the right direction. You know, obviously it was a successful outcome and that's what we want to see. Nate Mutter is trained on the rapid DNA machine. Working with Cash County attorney James Swink, they got Hernandez to admit to his crimes with DNA proof in about two weeks. Swink was out of town, but spoke to me via FaceTime about the state's first guilty plea case. We were able to uh, corner him really quickly and he knew it. Uh, once we had the DNA, he knew it. On September 19th, Hernandez broke into a Cache County home, stole some stuff, and ran off. He left behind DNA Swink says would normally take months to process, leaving Hernandez on the streets. He broke through a window. There was blood at the scene of the cabin, and also there was DNA that was taken off of a Diet Mountain Dew can. The AG's office owns and operates the two analyzers. DNA-filled test tubes are put into this mobile machine, and results are returned in about 90 minutes. It just doesn't happen that fast in the criminal justice system. Hernandez pleaded guilty to burglary, theft, possession of meth, and obstruction of justice. So with criminal number one behind bars, thanks to the new tool, Who's next? There's several in the works. Um, I have a feeling that uh, we're going to get hit with numerous in one day. I also spoke to Cache County Sheriff Chad Jensen on the phone earlier today. His office and department is the one that looked into and worked on this case. He says that this can be used on anything from property crimes to homicides and everything in between. He also goes on to say the AG's office, their phone is going to be ringing off the hook in his estimation now that this technology is up and running. As far as Hernandez is concerned, he's sitting behind bars tonight waiting to be sentenced.